Hello everybody, my name is Mr. Wang and I'm in China. Today I'm in the province of Fujian in the city of Quanzhou. Hello, hi everyone. Hi, this is Songdai Man, it's some old Thai guy there. Songdai, ha. So these, these lovely ladies are wearing some Song Dynasty traditional clothing with their mian It's like um, some kind of face covering. Not COVID related, I should say. Welcome to Quanzhou. So I'm on this uh, trip here. I'm going to be here for the next few days in Quanzhou and I think another city. We're going to learn a little bit about Fujian. It's really interesting, at least for me. Um, I've been in China for many, many years, but before this year, I'd never been to this province in Fujian, so down, southeast China. And then this year, this is my third trip here, so I'm really getting to grips with this place in Fujian. I don't think three trips is really enough, but I'm learning a little bit more about it. We've got wonderful tea culture here and uh, ceramics of China with a small sea uh, nearby here in Dehua. So we're going to learn a lot about that and hopefully show you guys. And the first thing I want to show you is, in fact, do you see behind me that woman? What she's doing there is really incredible. It's called the Dian Ta Ha. And um, she's, I'm going to turn the camera around in a second, but do you guys know when you go to like coffee shops and they have these sort of baristas who do these wonderful designs on your latte or wonderful designs on your coffee? Well, uh-huh, that started here in China during the Song Dynasty, it's called Dian Ta, and they used to do it with tea. So that's right. So you think, oh, quite special. I had this wonderful design. That's been going on for hundreds and hundreds of years, started here in China with tea. And that's what this lady's doing here as well. So let me turn the camera around and show you guys. A few moments later. This is really quite incredible. I've got to be quiet because nobody else is speaking, but we're basically Song Dynasty or Yuan Dynasty. So Song Dynasty and Yuan Dynasty uh, banquet. So the, uh, all the waiters and waitresses are dressed up in Song Dynasty clothing. And the food, the dishes, are taken from a recipe book from the Song Dynasty. Guys, can you believe that? So, Chinese history really ha is old. There's a long history here. So, this is a Song Dynasty recipe book. And all the dishes today are coming from the Song or the Yuan Dynasty. And the chef has just made a speech telling us that. And all the food is coming. And my first dish is a mixture of sweet corn and pine curtains. Uh, it looks actually delicious. I haven't started eating it yet. Uh, you can see everyone around me. So we're in a massive banquet hall in a hotel. And everyone's dressed in the finest song clothes. Do you have any Song Dynasty clothes? <laughs> Seriously, every time they bring the next dish out, it's like a performance. This is such a special thing. Um, so you eat, you know, course after course after course. We've already on. We've had like three, four, three or four dishes so far. So this is a very Chinese banquet, and yet at the same time, it's not very Chinese. Because remember, guys, in China, a banquet or a big meal is normally many, many dishes shared on a big table, shared, right? Um, but of course, this is more, of course, it's very Chinese, it's Song Dynasty, and yet somehow it's, it feels more Western in that there's, each person has their own individual dish, you can see. We're not sharing, we have our own dishes. And as I mentioned before, what's really, really cool is that they've, they've got everyone's dietary requirements down. So if you're not eating meat, if you're halal, if you're kosher, if you're what, what a vegan, they, they'll, they'll give you that dish. So it's, it's a really well organized and orchestrated performance. And yet also the dishes are exactly what they should be. It's very, very cool and I'm enjoying it so far. The food is delicious. The performance is very, very special. <laughs> And the company really is great. In fact, I should probably get off the phone, start to, stop talking to you guys, talk to everyone around me. But it's been very nice. And this gentleman here, 
just told me something really, really interesting. So if I can show you guys, I'm going to turn the camera around in a second, but basically I've got this wonderful oh, dish is coming. Okay. So busy. Sissy. Guys, do you see this here? That, right? So I'm going to turn the camera around in a second, but I wanted to show you like this first. Because this gentleman right here has told me this is really simple, but also incredibly clever. So basically, during the Song Dynasty, um, a lot of Huangzhou, the yellow rice wine, was drunk here. They still drink it, right? And that alcohol is quite low. The alcohol level, so I don't know, a few percentage points of alcohol. What they would do in the winter, remember, well, in the winter, would be in this outer layer of this china, this pot pottery, they would fill it with hot water. And then the inner layer, they'd put, actually put the, the, the bottle or whatever's holding the wine. So what that would do would be the wenjiu, which would be to keep the wine at a warm temperature. And that way it goes down a bit easier. So it's a bit like, um, what's that Japanese uh, rice wine they drink in, in Japan? Um, I think you have Tom Cruise shouting it. Uh, what's it called? Su... I can't remember, I'll think of it. Um, but that Japanese rice wine, basically, that you drink warm or hot. So I guess it was similar in some density. They probably stole it from the Chinese. The Japanese took a lot from the Chinese. Um, so that's really cool. So simple, and yet so clever as well. I'm going to turn the camera around, and so you'll understand what I mean. Hot water in an outside, like a sort of a moat, heating up the bottle that holds the alcohol. Oh man, that's annoying me now. What's that Japanese rice wine called? Not wasabi, that's the mustard. It's called... Oh man, I can't remember. Lavina, what do they drink in Japan? <laughs> the alcohol. Sake. Sake, thank you. Sake, sake. Remember Tom Cruise? Sake! Give me the sake. All right, I'm gonna turn the camera around. Photo time. Photo time. It's always a photo. All right, let's go. Stand here. Hello. Hi. Hi. See you soon. Thank you. Hard, sir. Good. Uh. <laughs>